What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you how to fix the failed to initialize battle eye service generic error for Fortnite on Windows 10. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. This error is caused by your battle eye service, which allows other programs to read and write various deeper level aspects of your OS. In order to fix this, Make sure that Fortnite and your Epic Games Launcher are not running in the background. You should make sure to exit out of your Epic Games Launcher in your system tray. Next, open up your file explorer. Here, navigate to your program files, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, BattleEye. Here, double click the uninstall batch file which will open up your command prompt and execute the uninstall for you. When this is done, go back to your Win64 folder, scroll down and right click your Fortnite client Win64 shipping application and select Properties. Here in the Compatibility tab, select to run the program in Compatibility mode for Windows 7 and run it as an admin. Don't forget to apply your changes. Next. Reopen your Epic Games Launcher and in your game library, select Verify for Fortnite. This will verify the integrity of your game files, meaning that the launcher will re-download and replace any missing or corrupted game files, which in this case is the BattleEye service. Fortnite should now run without getting the BattleEye error message. In case the problem persists, you will need to whitelist BattleEye in your antivirus program and Windows Defender. This could be considered expected behavior, as the majority of antivirus applications are designed to block programs which continually run in the background as BattleEye does. Search for Firewall and hit Enter to open up your Firewall and Network Protection System Settings window. Here, select Allow an app through firewall and the new window will open up. Select change settings and then allow another app. Lastly, as your path, select browse and then navigate to the drive on which you saved Fortnite on. Program files, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, BattleEye and select the BE service application. Make sure to uncheck this application and apply your changes. Lastly, search for percentage temp percentage and hit enter. This folder contains all of your temporary files, saved by your programs and should be deleted. You can safely delete everything in this folder. Some files might remain, so just leave them there. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.